football meeting between UND and NDSU. They play on Saturday in Grand Forks. The Bison beat Missouri State over the weekend while the Fighting Hawks rolled over a very bad Western Illinois squad. UND's veteran quarterback Tommy Schuster is making the Bison coaches nervous. Tommy's done a really good job. He doesn't, he doesn't seem to get pressured much. Uh, I think what they do schematically, they buy him time. Uh, they're moving the pocket, sprint out nakeds. Um, he's not afraid to get the ball out of his hands quick. He has some uh, big targets on the perimeter. He uses his tight ends. Uh, Bo Belquist is, is an outstanding skill kid, uh, probably the, their top one. UND leads the all-time series 62-50. to 50. There have been three ties. Well, there's only one starting tailback on a football team. If that person is not you, you have a couple of options. Salk and complain about it or work hard, be a good teammate, and be ready to take advantage of it when the time comes. Braden Zerhoff is the second guy. Jeff Roberts has more on the Blue Hawks' top ground gainer. Dickinson State's Braden Zerhoff took an opportunity this fall and ran with it. I think I always had the confidence myself. I was more so excited to get my opportunity this year. Through six games, Zuroff has rushed for 643 yards on 103 carries, finding the end zone eight times. The line's doing a great job getting me that first crease, and it might end up being five yards downfield, and that's you can be pretty thankful for that. That's, as far as me running the ball, I think just starting on my initial path, the coaches tell me, and then after that, my job is to break, start breaking, breaking tackles. So, One of Braden's best attributes in the backfield is patience. But it was his patience off the field that Pete Stanton was most impressed by. Until this year, Braden was a backup. To Braden's credit, and that's one of the things I give him so much credit for, is he stayed patient with that. He didn't say a word about that. He just did his job. When he went in there, he did a great job for us. And then this year, it's been his turn. In that time, Zuroff rushed the football 159 times. He's only 50 touches shy of equaling that mark in just his senior year. Our coaches just say yeah, when you get an opportunity to make a play, go make a play. So I don't know. I think it was a good learning opportunity to be behind some other older guys that also played for a little while and learn from them and see what they do. The former Holstein and Glen Owen grad leads the North Star with three Offensive Player of the Week awards. Despite the recognition, Zuroff knows it doesn't come without the daily detail. I'd say the biggest thing is to just find a way to get better every practice, every day. The drills might get repetitive, but uh, you just have to do your best at finding some way to get better because when your opportunity comes, you want to take advantage of it. Braden and the Blue Hawks head to Mayville State this Saturday before their second and final bye week of the fall. In Dickinson, for your news leader, I'm Jeff Roberts. In high school football, Shamley is the only undefeated team in AAA, and the Deacons are dominating the new poll. Bismarck is fourth this week, while Mandan is tied with Davies for the fifth spot. Century is also getting some votes. In AA, all of the first place votes are going to North. The Spartans are the lone unbeaten team in that division. The Midgets are third behind South and just ahead of the Blue Jays. In the NFL tonight, the Packers fall two, three, or two and three. They lost in Las Vegas. In volleyball, Central McLean over Drake Animus, three to nothing. Same score, Glen Olin and Hebron drops the Clippers and Richard and Taylor in five beating Hazen. Time now for our play of the day. We'll go to last night's uh, playoff baseball playoff game. Braves leading five to four in the ninth inning. Atlanta outfielder Michael Harris with a spectacular grab of the wall for an out. He relay, relays the throw in to uh, make a perfect double play. He deals a 2-2. Castellanos in the air to right center field. Harris is on the run. Harris at the track. He leaps and he makes the catch. Harper might be doubled up. The throw gets away. The throw to first. It's over. It's over. Harper never tagged. He couldn't get back. And it's a double up to end game 2-2. 